particular, I want to focus on, uh, on two of the core assets that the president mentioned around exports and manufacturing and around energy and infrastructure. It's so hard to separate these things. They're kind of siloed, but when you hear them kind of last night, they are, they are kind of all wrapped in together. And they do build off of some kind of unfinished business, I think, that's, that started here in Washington. That's been part of the conversation you know, for, for a bunch of months anyway. Um, I mean, on manufacturing, it's clearly related to, to long-term growth and clearly plays a critical role in this goal for, for doubling exports. And when we think about exports, it's, it's not just about um, you know, putting things in boxes and, and shipping them all over the place, but it really is the economic imperative um, of our time given the growing demand that we're seeing, particularly from growing nations in Brazil and in India and in China. So it's really about kind of taking advantage of that enormous market demand that's emerging around the globe um, uh, in, order to, in order to create jobs back here, in order to, to have a, a clear role uh, when it comes to manufacturing. Um, I think we are on, on pace to meet the president's stated goal of doubling exports um, in five years. It seems like a, a very dubious uh, <laughs> and very, very challenging goal to meet, but it does look like that we're on, we're on track to meet that. Some of it's due to kind of quirks in the monetary system, the low value of the dollar, but some of it is definitely due to things that the president and the administration has already put in place. Uh, the XM Bank, you know, providing more and more loans, um, giving support um, and additional resources in particular to states and metropolitan areas so they can boost their, you know, their trading partners and all that. So there is a lot that's going on, and exports is clearly going to be a big focus, and it probably should be. Um, on the energy side, you know, there was a big chunk of the speech that folks probably know that was, that was dedicated to, to energy, and I, and I think the president called it the all of the above, right, energy policy, which included everything from offshore oil drilling to clean tech. It had an energy efficiency kind of overhang, so it really did have the, it ran the gamut from, uh, you know, on, when in terms of energy policy. I think it would have been great if they had talked about, you know, maybe using some of the resources from fossil fuels to fund some of the clean tech stuff that they have going on. But again, this is uh, energy um, work that's been going on in the administration for, you know, you know since the very beginning. But clearly, um, this is a, an area that's going to be critical to, to growing jobs and, and improving the economy. Um, infrastructure got, a, got another big shout out. The president has always talked about that. Um, I think it was framed around, well, we stopped the war uh, overseas. Let's use half that money to retire the debt. The other half goes into infrastructure. You know, it's a little more challenging to do than, um, than it was kind of laid out. But, but clearly, I think the, the main message on that is we're rebuilding countries overseas. Let's start rebuilding, you know, the U.S. infrastructure, again, in order to support manufacturing, to improve exports, to create quality jobs back here at home. It's not that kind of quality of life kind of message. It really is a straight kind of economic imperative. I think that was a really good um, uh, shift. Um, and there was also a big focus on the infrastructure message around kind of cutting through red tape, getting projects done. There's enormous frustration with how long it takes you know, to, get some of these, to get some of these projects off the ground. Um, it takes far too long. The administration is trying to, to, to figure out how we can prioritize certain projects and get those things done.